What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel on my final round of today here. Just got done playing, started off with a executive course. Basically it was a fully part three course, played two nine hole championship courses. Um, got some good driver swings in there and finishing up here now with a final executive or a part three course. So as for this video, we are doing, hopefully I don't butcher this name, Escambia, Escambia. Um, this is a level three executive course um, within the villages located at 3086 Pope Place. Um, some cool different names on some of these courses I've been playing today, but basically the way these go, um, nine hole executive course, it's mainly par threes. Um, at the most, there'll be one or two par fours sprinkled in, if any. So it could be the first one I played when I came out here was fully par threes. We'll see what we get um, going through here if there's one or two par fours, but level three course um the way they rank them in the villages the executives are levels one through four one being the easiest four being the most challenging um usually doesn't have a ton to do with the yardages mainly just the layouts and um kind of hazards around and whatnot but i'm gonna give this a go um pleasantly surprised how i've been playing out here for the first three rounds put up actually some halfway decent scores swing feels decent um still dealing with some lingering injury issues in my abs with the twisting motion and whatnot so Still not trying to muscle up and do anything spectacular speed and distance wise, just trying to put smooth, consistent contact on the ball. And so far it's been uh, treating me pretty well trying to play that way, but let's see how we can finish this up. Um, Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a DIY level stand, Country Club Elite Mat, DIY Stance Mat, Callaway Super Fast Balls, 10 by seven nets, and Home Tee Hero you're seeing within the Garmin Golf app as the simulator software. So getting right into it, first hole par three, 144 down four so we're looking at 140 gonna go choke down nine iron kind of an in-between number I could probably muscle up a pitching wedge and get it there but for the sake of what I've been saying with my I can feel some tightness and some fatigue creeping in with my obliques and abductors I don't really even know um, what exactly I injured and pulled um, I think it's mainly obliques obviously that twisting motion possibly some sports hernia type of issues which um, I looked that up. That's not exactly like a, a hernia hernia that you would expect. It's more so just the overuse of twisting motions from relating to sports, which obviously golf being one of them, but um, felt something tear about two weeks ago on my right. Um, something kind of let go on my right side and I started to favor that and I overdid something on my left side. So now I got both sides going, but um, feeling it about 75% um, so far today. So, so far so good, but Let's see what we can do here. Nine iron. Decent shot, a little bit toey. We'll see, I may take too much off of it, but where do we go up there? Cliff face was a tad open on that. Par to start off. Today has just been, seems like one of those days, even despite shots not going exactly how I had planned, it seems like kind of getting bailed out and it's just the, the bad shots are not horrendous and I'm getting kind of lucky on some of the results, but it is what it is. Second hole, even through one, 154, down three. So this will be more of a stock nine. Still don't need to hammer this nine. Don't even really even need a full one, but fuller, I'm not gonna choke down on this one, just kind of swing smooth, should get us on the green. Compared to that last one for 140, 145-ish, I choked down to about 75% or so. I will be very surprised if that's on the green, but we'll see. That was really thin, low, and left. And <laughs> this is kind of the way today's going. Almost even got that inside the inner circle. That is very lucky, but plus two for a par. I'm kind of glad that wasn't a birdie because that was so poorly struck. I definitely don't, don't even really deserve a par. Definitely don't deserve a birdie. So kind of happy that was just a par, not a bird there. But third hole, par three, 144, up three. Getting my use out of this nine iron today.
better struck a little bit high on the face popped it up a tad but we didn't need a ton so it should still be decent it's gonna be front side but we are safely on fourth hole we had another par three Ooh, 203 this is a long one 203 down three so 200 on the dot um this would usually be prime golf season swings feeling good warmer out and i'm not dealing with injuries this would be a six iron but i'm gonna go five if i hit it really good so be it but i'm gonna go five iron Struck it halfway decent. Caught it a little bit heavy, a little bit scuffy. Should be pretty straight though, we'll see. And yeah, it's a good thing I did. Another one, not the best strike in the world, but got it to work. Funny what happens when you swing a little bit easier and let the club do the work. Full part three, 139, down nine. Oh boy, so this is probably decently up on a hill. Nine yards of downslope is a decent amount. So we got 130 on the dot. Gonna go pitch and wedge. Don't need quite a full pitch and wedge here, but not gonna choke down at all. Just gonna put a smooth swing on it. Usually play this to about 135 or so. Halfway decent strike, popped it up a little bit and pulled it left, but we'll see if it catches the left side. It's going to be a little bit on the long side, but all right, pin high left. That's a strange one there because I popped it up a little bit, but I hit it decent, so it kind of evens itself out. Display, I felt like I hit that a little bit harder. I popped it up, so you get a little bit less distance because you pop it up, but I hit it harder, so. Sixth hole, par three, no driver yet. 175, up nine. Decent amount of undulation and slope on this on this uh, course. So that puts us to 184. Um, let's try the seven. Kind of in between a six and a seven here. This may be a little bit ambitious for how I'm feeling right now for a seven, but we'll see. 190-ish, I would've hit the six, but. Decent strike, but I pulled it left. That may miss the green left. Strain it out though. <sighs> I don't know. That one was a pull. I think that was a misread to our benefit. That one should have, that started left and would have stayed left. Garmin had that fading back to the right. And I actually almost went in the hole. That's a birdie. But again, the way today's going, that's just, what's been happening so it brings us to one under seventh hole par three 150 down five so 145 going back to the choke down nine i've said it before but shots like that that wasn't a horrendous strike by any means i just pulled a little bit left but it feels like garmin kind of bails you out and it almost that was a good result of a shot but you don't actually exactly feel the best about that you feel like you got a better score than i deserve there but I guess I'd all in all rather have it that way than <laughs> getting punished every single shot. <sighs> Caught it a little bit heavy on the mat again. Hit it relatively hard and a little bit left again, but it'll be there. Actually caught that one heavy enough. It was either that one or the one before. Caught that one heavy enough to move the mat a little bit. All right, two holes left. Eighth hole, par three. So unless we finish on a par four, this is going to be another holy 
par three course. Um, 114 up four. So we're at 118. I'm gonna go approach wedge, and it's gonna be about 90 or so percent approach wedge. Usually hit this to about 125 full. Don't need quite that much. But let's see if we can dial this up here. A little bit thin, popped it up. Should get there though. That oh, one actually, I felt a little bit of a strain on my right side, so I'm glad we only have one hole left here. Hopefully, stick the green on this and call it a day. Ninth hole, part three. So, driver stays in the bag again. Um, 133 up five, 138. I guess we'll go pitch and wedge. Good, smooth swing with a pitching wedge. Call it a day here. Decent contact, kind of hung back on it a little bit and popped it up, but that should be pretty dead straight right at it. Ooh, Garmer has that fading a little bit and short, but we're on the green, so it is what it is. All right, take a look at this. So, for the final course of the day from Escambia, Escambia, um, executive golf course within the villages we ended up with a 126 so pretty good again I am definitely gonna quit while I'm ahead today four rounds in a row that were uh, pretty good score wise again got felt like I got bailed out on a decent number of shots that I didn't strike the best but um, luckily enough the, the bad shots were good enough to be uh, within range of getting kind of bailed out so sometimes days like today my misses are a little bit better than some other days when, despite other days where I'm striking it better than I was today, um, sometimes the misses are just wider dispersion wise. So all in all, um, nine out of nine greens regulation doesn't get much better than that. Putts are a little bit high. Wasn't quite as many shots within that inner circle. So 17 putts across nine holes, one shy of uh, two putts a hole. So it is what it is. So I guess basically, um, I would assume, I don't remember off the top of my head, but considering we got a birdie on six, it must have been a plus one there. All the other ones were plus twos, which would make sense. So, um, 126, we'll take it. Well, sometimes things go your way, sometimes things don't. And today was one of those days things went my way. So, um, pretty happy with how things went. Um, I'm sure next time I come out here, I'll probably play like dog crap and uh <laughs> i'll be questioning my golf life once again but for right now um things feel pretty good so hopefully you guys enjoyed um another day out here another round in the books like always like i say um to help the algorithm help the channel out please if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to uh like the video leave me a comment down below give me your thoughts good bad or ugly indifferent anything in between uh, maybe share the video with someone that is uh maybe a village resident going to travel there maybe you're into the home tee hero um backyard golf simulator type of setup you're looking to get one or you're just a golf fan in general and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button but until next time guys i'll uh see you guys in the next course